Hi there, this is Stephanie and I am Stacks on Stacks on Stacks. I'm coming to you guys from a little bit of a different location today in honor of our top five Wednesday today. It is children's books. Ah! I love kid books. Now this is my middle grade and kid book bookcase. It's in one of my upstairs bedrooms, but I love this bookcase so much. Today we're supposed to be talking about our top five favorite children's books. She didn't want us to go with the Harry Potter and middle grade as much as books that we relate to our childhood and our upbringing. I was really, really excited about this tag. If you'd like to be part of our Goodreads group, I will link the information down below. Every Wednesday is a new topic, a new top five. The first book I have to go with is actually a series, which is The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. Now, I grew up with this book. My mom read us The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe when we were kids, and then she read us Prince Caspian and The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, and then there came to a point where my older sister would read to me and then it got to the point where I was reading them to my mom and I would sit in the hallway outside of my bedroom and I would read to my mom while she would doze. She was a busy lady. She was allowed to be tired. But these books I remember as a child and these are definitely books that I feel have made my childhood and made it memorable. I don't think I read the last two books until adulthood but I still love them. It's a wonderful series. Basically a series about some kids that kind of get drawn back into this world called Narnia where magic happens and animals talk and I'm being very vague because it is a series and each book really could almost be a standalone because they're so well written but it's definitely a book series to check out if you haven't checked it out before. The next one I'm going to talk about is Anne of Green Gables. Ooh, there you go. Maybe kind of see it. There you go. Anne of Green Gables. I apologize for the lighting you guys. This room is yellow. So it's very, very yellow in this video. <laughs> so this is Anne of Green Gables by L.M. Montgomery. This is a book, it's pretty old, it's over 100 years old, and it's about a girl who is an orphan, who is red-haired, and has this outrageous imagination. She gets adopted by a brother and a sister who are older, and when she finally arrives at the home, the sister, Marilla, is like, we didn't order you, we ordered us a boy, and they didn't want her because she wasn't a boy. Oh, and that's how she reacts to everything. She's hilarious. She is an overreactor about everything. She has this incredible imagination. I remember this being read to me when I was a kid. Um, just a few of the stories here and there by my sisters. And then I think I read it for myself somewhere around third grade, and I loved it. I love Anne. She's definitely part of my childhood. Next, we have James and Giant Peach by Roll Dahl. I remember my mom reading this book to me when I was a kid. She would also read Charlie in the Chocolate Factory and Charlie in the Great Glass Elevator, I think is what it's called. And these are just books that she would read to us all the time when we were kids. Basically, James the Giant Peach is about a boy who lives with his Aunt Sponge and Aunt Spiker, and they are not nice to him. And he really just wants to get away and not be there anymore. So something magical happens to a peach that makes it grow bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and he basically crawls inside and goes inside the pit of it and I forget exactly how it happens but it floats up and it flies over the ocean from England to America and he leaves his place. I totally just ruined this book for you but still read it. It's fantastic. The next book I have is where the Sidewalk Ends by Shel Silverstein. And I actually have a few books by Shel Silverstein. I'm gonna show you guys more of an author than a book here. These are basically a collection of poems that he wrote and they're all silly. Kids love them. They're about things like not doing the dishes, not taking the trash out, and they're about boogers and just silly things. Like we would memorize these and like recite them at the dinner table and mom would say things like, oh, let's not talk about boogers at the dinner table, guys. And then we, kind of be like, <laughs> and then we would do it anyway because, well, we were children. But I, when I think of my childhood, I definitely, definitely think of Shel Silverstein. He also wrote A Giraffe and a Half, and who wants a cheap rhinoceros? I remember these books from when I was a little kid. I think I got these from Book Outlet like a year or two ago. 
I loved these books. I loved these books so much. They're just fun and they're kind of rhymy and they're silly and they're great. And last, I'm going to mention Little House on the Prairie by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Now maybe I just read these books when I was a kid because it kind of grew up on the prairie. Like one of these is called On the Banks of Plum Creek and Plum Creek was like 30 minutes from where I grew up. Like these are real places. <laughs> this really did happen. And basically it's about a girl, a young girl whose parents are moving away. I think the family starts in Wisconsin. They move through Iowa. They move through Nebraska and they end up settling in South Dakota. And the first few books are ones that I definitely read when I was younger. The last three, maybe not. They're a little more serious. They're a little more like, oh, homesteading's hard and people die. Boo. So those aren't ones I like to read over and over and over, but the first ones are definitely, definitely books that I think of when I think of my childhood. This is my middle grade bookshelf. Notice I have Wandla and School of Good and Evil. I have my Harry Potters here and they look nice. I have some Wizard of Oz over here, a lot of Brandon Mole. And then down here where you can't see, I have books that are a little less organized and a little more like, you know, books I might have stolen from my mom's house at one point or another, and now they're mine. Now, I do have a few honorable mentions. I just read so many books when I was a kid, and there's so many books I think of when I think of my childhood that I could not leave these out. First one I'm going to mention is Where the Wild Things Are, and this is by Maurice Sendak. Now, as a kid, I absolutely loved this book. That was great and wonderful and fun. As an adult, all I think is, oh my goodness, Max is a horrible child. He needs a spanking. I know, right? Another honorable mention is going to be the Streganona books, and these are all by Tommy De Paloa. And I remember these books, like Streganona, she has magic and she's pretty smart and snarky, and I remember these books as a child. I loved them. I also remember the Miss Nelson collection. I think this is three books and they are by Harry Allard and James Marshall. They're also illustrated by James Marshall and I love his illustrations. I used to walk through the library when I was a kid and find the books that he had illustrated and I'd grab them and bring them home and read them. They're easy to read. They're kid books for sure. These are about a teacher who basically outsmarts her kids when they're being naughty in class and they don't want to listen and things like that. And she's like, I'm going to be a sub that is so horrible they will love me forever. How ingenious was that? Great, great book. And of course, no list is going to be complete without Dr. Seuss. This is the Sneetches book. It's probably one of my favorites. I also really, really, really like the Butter Battle books. That one's good too. But I think most people's childhoods just are not complete without a little bit of Dr. Seuss. So that completes my list of books that remind me of my childhood. I loved this tag. I would also love a tag for any middle grade books we could talk about too, maybe outside of Harry Potter because that is the most obvious one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to click like if you like this video and you can click subscribe when you would like to be notified that I have new videos. I post videos on Tuesdays and Fridays unless there is a top five Wednesday that I want to do, then I post them on Wednesdays. It's like a bonus. <laughs> Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will plan to see you soon. Goodbye. And last I'm going, ba -ba 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 -ba, huh? we didn't order you, we ordered us a girl. Now I mean a boy. <gasps> I love this book. I never read it, but I did see the movie and I liked it. Oh, I don't think I ever saw the movie. This is a started it is like all whited out. You laughing at me? No, I'm not. I'm laughing at other things. Really? Mm. Warning. Inside everybody's nose, there lives a sharp-toothed snail. If you stick your finger up, he may bite off your nail. If you stick it, he may bite your ring off. If you stick it all the way, he may bite the whole darn thing off. And that would be one of my favorites.